Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna start doing some videos on intercompany. We actually got a suggestion, a comment, and we love getting comments. So please, if you have any suggestions, anything you need or working on right now, you get stuck in or something like that, just throw a comment on there and we will definitely answer you and take a look at it. So we got a comment saying, hey, I'm struggling with intercompany. Could you do some intercompany videos? Definitely. Um, so thanks for that uh, and so we're gonna dive into at least a couple of intercompany videos. Uh, intercompany can be a pretty big area. Um, so with further ado, let me just get into the first one. I have copied the Kronos company into Kronos EU. So if I go into companies right here, I can see I have two companies, Kronos USA and Kronos EU. Uh, in order to copy a company, just to show you how that works, all you have to do is go into companies, companies, right, uh, and click on the company you want to copy, and just hit copy, and type in the new name, and it actually copies the company. Really, really handy. So I'm going to just go out of here and get into setting up intro company. The way we do that is we create a customer for the other company and a vendor for the other company. So on both sides, if you're, if one company is selling to another company, then obviously you, you create a customer on the one that sells and the vendor from one who buys. So in this case, I have Cronus EU and I created a customer called Cronus USA. And when I go into Kronos USA, I have something here called IC Partner Code. And I want to get into that. And then it actually says, intercompany information is not set up for your company. Do you want to set it up now? I, and I do, yes. And the partner code I'm going to set up for this is um, Kronos EU. Uh, and we can check off to auto send transactions over. So there is a, like an inbox which sends transactions or receives transactions. So there's an outbox that sends transactions. So it's almost like sending email. And I just hit OK. And go in again. And click New to, to create an intercompany partner. So the intercompany partner is going to be Kronos USA. And over here, I can go ahead and check off the company that it is referring to. So it looks up into the company list and allows you to pick that. So as, as a, uh, sales transactions we have the customer set up this is going to be the customer and i have not set up any purchase transaction yet so we're selling from eu to usa and we can set it up so uh, if you want we can also set up the receivable account if we're doing straight account so just close that out and now i've set up an intercompany partner for Kronos usa now I have to do the same thing in the other company. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, get into, uh, let's see. I think I made a mistake here in setting up the companies. The EU was displayed as <laughs> Cronus USA. So I want to fix that. Um, let's go ahead and click on this here. And it's a, it's a good thing to learn. Uh, when you copy company, it actually copies the name as well. So if you, the display name, so if you change the name, it doesn't change the display name. So you have to finish fixing that as well. So I'll close this out. Oh, it's better. And I want to go ahead and change into the USA, like so. And I want to create a vendor for the um, EU company. 
So we get into Kronos USA, get into vendors, um, create new. And so that's fine, business to business. And the name will be Kronos EU. We're buying from EU. And I just hit show more here, uh, like so. Where is this? The intercompany right here. And we want to set it up for Kronos USA as well. So we say yes. Uh, Kronos USA. Auto sends transactions. OK. And then we click on this again and create an interpartner, inter intercompany partner which is uh, Kronos EU. Uh, we pick the company, EU. Uh, and in this case, we are doing a purchase transaction. So we're picking the uh, Kronos EU vendor right here. And we can pick a payable account just if you want to set that up, right? like that and now we set up uh on the us side we set up the eu as a partner and on the eu side we set up the us as a partner so on the us side we're buying it's a vendor and on the eu side we're selling and it's a customer so next video we'll go into um, creating a transaction between these two partners